Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm probably awake. And today I want to talk about EQ curves and more specifically EQing out harsh frequencies to give your mix the ability to be played louder and make it sound better overall. So the specific EQ I want to talk about is the Munson EQ today. And basically, if you don't know what this is, all it is is a pretty harsh EQ curve that basically takes out a lot of frequencies that are annoying to the human ear. So for example, we have a frequency band at 68 or 88 hertz, we have one at 618 hertz, we have one at 1000 kilohertz, and so forth. So what I want to do is, naturally, you can throw this on your songs after you're done mixing them. I usually throw it on something like my master chain. So to start, I would have the Munson EQ, I would have Ozone, and then maybe after Ozone, I'd have some saturator with some soft clipping for some extra gain. So basically what I'm doing is I'm using this to input signal into Ozone. It's giving me a better baseline what I'm gonna pull my limiter to in Ozone, and then I'm able to get a louder mix and then crank it even louder when I'm listening back to it because it's not hurting my ears. It's going to sound better in comparison to other music. So with all that being said, you can naturally do that. Or, of course, you can take a song like, let's say, this Virtual Riot remix of Sudden Death's Behemoth, and it sounds like it's missing a lot of high end. Here's what it sounds like if you haven't heard it before. <laughs> It just sounds kind of low quality. So what we can do here is we can turn on the Munson EQ. So naturally we're taking out some of those harsh frequencies. I can hear them if you listen on a headphone, but if you're not listening on headphones, it does take out some of these high frequencies that might be a little bit whiny to your ears. But now what we can do is, since we are subtracting these by a few decibels in each of these regions, we can boost high end a little bit more to get a little bit cleaner of a signal out of this. So if I just went ahead and I boosted this a little bit, And that just gives me the ability to place other frequencies where I want them while simultaneously taking out other frequencies that I don't want. So for example, without the EQ curves, and with them, we add a lot of high end while simultaneously taking out these harsh frequencies, which in turn gives you a louder mix. And if you look, we're still hitting that negative three decibels. So if this helps, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I hope it does help. And we'll see you again on the next episode.